Hello, Maria. Hello from Austria. Can from you Austria. hear me? Yes, very well. Okay. Um, my situation is I'm doing quite okay when I'm going inside myself. Um, there I can sometimes feel the peace and the happiness. But when I'm when I try to go outside, I'm having a lot of trouble, um, especially when it comes to other people. And there's a lot of rejection and comparison and jealousy and all the feelings of separation. And yeah, so I wanted to ask you if if I am a terrible uh, separate finite self or or not, and if, if I am, what I can do about it. You are a beautiful, infinite being, um, but you don't always realize it. And everybody you come across is the same beautiful, infinite being, uh, but you don't always realize it about them as well. Um, because you sometimes feel that you are a, a terrible, separate, finite person, you therefore inevitably think that some other people are also terrible, finite, separate people, and therefore you get into conflicts with them. So the remedy is to first of all recognize the nature of yourself. I am not a terrible, finite person. I am this beautiful, aware, open, spacious, luminous, loving being. I have some conditioning, yes, that I inherited from my family and from my culture that appears as certain thoughts and behaviors and everything, but that's not essentially what I am. It's just a, a layer of clothing or conditioning that I wear, but I essentially am this beautiful being. And everybody else, in spite of their irritating habits and characteristics and everything, they are the same beautiful being. And you try to feel that behind... you. You get in touch with your own being behind those aspects of yourself that you find difficult, but by the same token you feel the same about the other. And this recognition of your shared being is the experience of love. And you try to emphasize this aspect in your relationship with others. It doesn't mean to say that you may not be irritated by them or find their characters dif difficult, so that, that, that's fine. But try not to allow your love for another to be dependent upon whether or not you like them. We don't have to like everybody, but we do have to love everybody. Okay. And, and practically, would it be okay to, to, to first um, practice the, the inward Going path, yes, it, it, before yes, Co contemplate yourself, Maria, mm -hmm. until and don't superimpose this on yourself as an idea. You have to really investigate yourself, come to see that your your thoughts, your feelings, your your, your habits, your behaviors you, you've inherited these from your from your family, it's not therefore they inherited it from theirs and and, and from their culture, and etc. So you to go through that layer of yourself. Don't just stop there and think, oh, I'm this terrible person. I've got such awful habits and I, I'm unlovable. Oh, to, to go through all of that. That's just the clothing you wear. Go through all that and find I am this, this beautiful, aware being. Contemplate yourself as that. Feel yourself as that. Love yourself as that. I'm not talking about loving your character. I'm talking about loving yourself. Feel yourself as that. Your, your attitude to your character will gradually change as a result of this recognition, uh, this self-recognition and self-love. And you will also, I suspect, find that as you then begin to recognize yourself and feel yourself as this, that felt understanding will begin to infiltrate your the way you see other people you'll still see the character they will still provoke you from time to time but their characters will become increasingly transparent and you will have the ability to see through the irritating character to the beautiful being behind it and this will begin to inform the way you are with them and remember just as you undoubtedly are other people are very sensitive if you think, if you look at somebody and you think, well, what a 
miserable, irritating, impossible character. You can be absolutely sure they will be feeling it. However well, however well you try to disguise it, they will be they will be feeling because you know what that feels like. You know what it feels like when somebody else feels like that t towards you. So. Uh, but in, it is okay to have those feelings sometimes. I mean, yes. Yeah. No, no, that's fine. If those feelings arise, that that's just part of your conditioned makeup. But what is important is that you see through. You can say to yourself, okay, I, I acknowledge this person. You're, you're a little bit irritating. Or that's not true. I am irritated by you. You can't. They are not irritating. You are irritated. So you say, yes, I, it's true. I am irritated by you. However, I... I I see through that quality in you that I find irritating. I see through that to your being, and I love your being. Now, just as they previously felt your judgment when you were criticizing them, even as you tried to disguise it, they will feel this new attitude in you. And they, that will, at least to a degree, open their heart towards you. They won't feel judged by you. And in time, people will think, oh, I always used to feel uh, slightly judged when Maria was around. I always felt uncomfortable. She, I was, but now she's, I feel, so, I feel so relaxed in her company. She's so loving. It's just, that they'll, they'll, even if you don't verbalize this at all, they will feel it. And you will find your relationships will begin to clear up. Without your having actually had to work on the relationship itself. I'm not suggesting it's not appropriate sometimes to address an issue in a relationship, but okay. nice you. to see you, Maria.